How you doing, guys? I wanted to show you real quick on how I straightened out uh, a half a, a piece of horn. And first thing to do is you saw it down, you know, long ways where if you're going to try to flatten it, you don't, you want to try to flatten it if you cut it here where it spreads the easiest way open. If you cut it here, that's a much harder bend than it would be if you cut here. Kind of common sense, but just mentioning it. Anyway, so I cut that piece off as you see. And this is one of the halves that I did just that. I cut it down the center. And I just eyeball it close as you can. And uh, then uh, it was one of these things that I do. I have some steel set up here to basically on this vise where I can put this inside of here. And I'm going to heat it up with the iron or with this uh, heat gun. And uh, uniformly around, you know, and then kind of get in the center. And I'm going to show you just exactly how I do it here. But uh, let me set this back in here. And these are just some aluminum blocks that I had. I'm going to come up here. And you could do this with any vise, too, if you have some bigger jaws. Um, now... You see how these are flat right here on both sides because I just sawed it straight. What I found makes it easier is this. Come on over here. That one again on this side. Take the inside of this reef or this corner off. You won't be using it anyway. And I'll show you why here in a second. Gotta love the smell of burning horn. <laughs> it's just like lighting your hair on fire. It's horrible. Whoa, I got a sniff of it. Do the other side, same way. Now I suppose if you wanted as much flat as possible, you would keep going till you hit this radius here and try to come at that angle, you know, where it follows it. I like to just take and get it to where it's leading an edge into the bend. Now when I come up here, you're going to see what happens is this one side is especially uh, cleared. See there? Now the bottom one doesn't have a lot, so I'm going to take a little more of it.
that side's well into it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this edge off right here. Good enough, right there. See how I did that? Okay. This one I catch up later. Oh, not a little bit too far. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hopefully, this will warm up and your film will bring your video hold up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It takes about 10 minutes or so, I'm guessing. What we're doing is putting it on the horn mostly, but arounding those uh, other areas. That's going to chill it quick, too. But you'd be surprised. I don't have to get them so hot that I can't touch it. Uh, of course, they take quite a while with this big vise. But what I end up doing is feeding it down this hole here carefully then it funnel down it and stuff and come in here to the top I try to come underneath of it down here too and then back over there and as I start heating this whole thing up I'm going to start sneaking this vice in <laughs> let me move this one away for right now and if you keep it on you'll burn it uh, you got to move it around I mean, a little burn on the edge or something is not a big deal here. It's just, uh, you don't have to get it that hot to do it. Wind ain't helping us. And it just uh, started moving it. Let's see. Yeah, see, they're not even hot yet. I'm not cranking on this. This vice has got a lot of got a lot of power, so I'm not. I don't want to crack it or break it in half, you know. So I've got to be patient. But I'm putting some pressure. Uh, I don't know. 
just a couple pounds and I'm letting it follow it around on the outside a couple pounds out here but this has got great leverage it's I don't know, probably a couple hundred pounds I'd have to measure it Hear that? Creep. Yeah. Is that? Well, it scares you. I don't know what it is yeah. exactly. It's like the edge might be sliding or whatever, but see, last time it did that too. But uh, I tried to just be patient, keep going, and it never did nothing wrong. Gotta be patient. See, I burned that outside it. there. You smell it right now. I can smell it, yep. <laughs> Yummy, huh? Mm-hmm. Not as bad as the sanding of it. Huh? Not as bad as the sanding smell when you were sanding the bone. Oh. That was bad. <laughs> it's getting there. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah. It gets out of a lot of smell. As you notice, I'm, I'm still moving. <laughs> Ooh, got that in there too, didn't I? Mm -hmm. My hands, uh, this is about maybe a hundred, ninety. That's fine. This side, hundred, hundred, hundred ten maybe. I just gotta make sure they're all right. Yeah. I haven't heard no cracking in a while. Okay, it keeps going. Okay, it's close. Hmm. Uh, it's just barely.
Okay. Right. <laughs> well, are we getting there? Yeah. Did you take the scale off of this? No. Before you on that one? No? No. Brush anything loose off, maybe, but no, I didn't. I don't do anything to it until I hit the sander with it. Once I get this down, the uh, um, I'll let it sit and, and cool here for I don't know hour. Let it come back down to temperature. It happens pretty quick. And then the other piece, you know, I wondered if it would pull back or whatever, you know, and heating it back up and when I was adding the other piece, it got hot enough where I couldn't hang on to it. And, uh, you know, I was trying not to get it hot, but it didn't seem to bow uh, when I was doing that and cutting the shape or whatever. It kind of pretty well held. Uh, well, dead, exactly. It's dead flat right now. I hope it stays that way. I read about them, people do it with water, where they leave it in there for weeks or whatever. And, uh, some use other chemicals, alcohol, or uh, what was it? I don't know, I don't want to say, but the old timers in the old days, I guess, used heat. And it worked for them, I figured. And it's a heck of a lot easier, no mess. Uh, the other ones, you put them in the oven and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe if you're single, otherwise your wife's going to kill you. Yeah. How would they do it with heat in the olden days? In a fire? Uh, How would they do it in heat in the olden days? In the fire? Yeah, they'd heat up, you know, metal and stuff. And stick heavy bunches of them together and, you know, where the weight itself would push them down. Huh. You can and, see uh, how it's already... Huh? You can see where it's flattening already. Oh, yeah. Wow. Let me go see the other side. Wow. Yeah, it's still going. good light on this side. Probably would have heated up quicker if the door was okay. closed. Yeah. But, uh, See, I'm kind of changing the outside there a little bit. Yeah. To get this last little bit. It doesn't really matter. No, I don't hurt nothing. Don't seem to, at least not inside, you know, I mean, 
it, it screws the surface up, but that's don't go real deep. I'm about closed off over here. Done. Who's this really? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's it guys. We'll turn the video back on in here about I don't know, half hour, ten hour, whenever it cools down. But even now look. I can hold it. Careful, it's a little warm mm -hmm. about maybe one fifty or one. Yeah. 140. It's almost too hot. No. Hot enough to respect it, but not enough to burn you. Okay, guys, it's been about about an hour. So let's go ahead and undo it and see if it stays and see what we got. Pretty flat, not bad. And that's what I start with right here. It's real rough on the outside and stuff, you know, I mean, from sun damage. Here's what you gotta watch when you're making your pieces. You'll have dips. It's, I don't know if you can see it, hopefully, that there's dips in the material or the horn when you flatten it. It's surprising how much you will get if you think about it. But you can kind of see your thickness, what you got to work with. And see what you're going to do with it. And like here, there's a little valley in here. So, and look at the side. Well, that's, that's this thickness, so that's not a problem. That's even thicker there. So, that's pretty straight out all the way. The only thing I have to think about is that little valley right there. And depending on how thick I want to scale or, or whatever. Uh, and you might even want that. But anyway, that's how you flatten out a, uh, a horn that's, you know, just like this, a steer horn. But I'm sure any horn can be done like that. And from what I've seen so far, uh, at this point, I can now sand it. I don't get it overly hot, but uh, I get it hot enough where I can't really touch it. And then I let it cool and do the other side and, you know, and work it down and I haven't seen it curl at all. So.